In this video, we will solve one exercise problem from the book Theory of Machine by S.S. Ratan. The problem is, for the given mechanism, you have to determine angular velocity of link AB. This problem we will solve using relative velocity method and instantaneous center method both. For each of these method, first we have to draw configuration diagram, the same diagram we have to draw. I have taken a scale of 1 is to 2, that means all dimensions will draw half of the actual length. So first one horizontal line, this horizontal line I have drawn here. Now mark three points O, D and F at a distance 40 mm and 120 mm. That means 20 mm distance we will take here and 60 mm distance here. So we will mark these two points. So this is 20 and this is 60 mm. In this way you have marked these three points F, D and O. From the point F, this angle is given 105 degrees. So from F, take 105 degrees. So 90, 100 and 105. Here you will get one point. So this point I have marked. And this length F, F, E is 120 mm. That means we will draw 60 mm line. So 60 mm, you can see 60 mm length we have drawn here. So from 0 to 6, 60 mm. So in this way you get point E. Similarly from D to C you can get D to C is 80 mm and E to C is 90 mm. So using these two lengths I have drawn two arc. So one arc, this arc is of length EC which is equal to 90 mm. That means I have drawn this length as 45 mm and from D this is 80, that means 40 mm length. I have drawn another arc. These two intersects here. So this point is our C, point C. Now join D to C and then E to C and ex extend this line EC. So EC is extended till point B, which is EB is 130 mm. So 65 mm length we will take from E to this point. Measure this 65 mm and mark this point B. From B, Take 55 mm, that means 110 mm, 55 mm length, draw one arc and from O, 20 mm and draw another arc. So this O, 20 mm, this arc and from B, 55 mm, this, this arc. So by int the intersection of these two arcs will be point A. Point A. Now join B to A and then O to A. In this way, you will get this configuration in your sheet. Now we will start relative velocity method. For that we need velocity of at least one point. So here you can see that OA is rotating in anti-clockwise direction with 12 radian per second. So velocity of A with respect to O or velocity absolute velocity of A can be determined which is equal to V is equal to R omega. So R is length this length, R, this, uh, this crank length which is equal to 40 mm and omega is 12 radian per second. So that's what I have written here. So this is omega into R. Now I have divided, it is divided by 1000 to get mm into meters. So this is mm into meters. So you are getting velocity of A with respect to O or absolute velocity of A is equal to 0 0.48 meter per second. Now this velocity of A will be perpendicular to OA and towards downward direction because it is anti-clockwise. For in relative velocity method, first we have to mark all the fixed points. So these are the three fixed points. Mark these three at one place. So this point is O, D and F, small letters. Now we will draw a line which is perpendicular to OA. So this is OA. Keep your scale perpendicular to OA. Roller scale and bring this scale here. Draw one line and length of this line is equal to 4.8 centimeter. So I have taken 1 centimeter is equal to 0 0.1 meter per second. That scale I am using here. So this length I have taken 4.8 centimeter and drawn this line. So this line represents velocity of A with respect to O. Now next, A is connected with B. So this A point is available. So velocity of B with respect to A will be perp a perpendicular to AB and from point A. So from point A perpendicular to AB, you have to draw one line. So keep one, your scale perpendicular to AB and bring this here at A. Draw one line 
in this line you will get point B. Similarly, you can get point E with respect velocity of point E with respect to F. Now we have point F with us. So perpendicular to FE, you have to draw one line from F. So bring this here at F and draw one line. So in this line, you will get point E. Again, you are not getting point E exact position of point E in this line. Similarly, point C can C is also connected with B. So velocity of C with respect to D, velocity of C with respect to D. So D point is available. So perpendicular to CD, draw one line. And in this line, you will get point C. But again, you are not able, we are not able to get exact position of C in this line. Now here we got stuck, we cannot move further. So using this approach, we are, we are unable to determine velocity of any other points. So or we will make another approach. We will start velocity of E with respect to F. Now this point E is not known, but still I have assumed this, that length of this velocity of E with respect to F is 4 cm. So I have just taken 1, 2, 3, 4 cm. You can take any length. So just uh, assume that velocity of E is represented by a line of 4 cm. Now next we can determine this point C. How we can determine point C? Now C is in a line which is perpendicular to DC. So this is DC. So which is passing through this point D and perpendicular to DC. So what you have to do take scale draw one line from D which is perpendicular to DC. So in this line you will get C. Similarly, C velocity of C with respect to E will be perpendicular to EC. So keep your scale perpendicular to EC and this perpendicular line will pass through point E. So draw this line through E. So C should be in this line at the same time C should be in this line. That means C will be at the intersection point. So this is our point C. So once you get C, you can get B because E, C and B are in same line. E, C, B are in same line. So use same ratio. So what I have done, E, C divided by E, B. So this is there. E, C divided by E, B. The same ratio you will get for velocity also. Small E, C divided by small E, B. So now this E, C length, measure this length. So I have kept scale here. So you can see this E, C is 2 centimeter. Now we need EB, E to B, that length we need. These two lengths are already known, so just calculate it. So EB, you cross multiply here. So EC is 2 cm, this EB, capital EB is 130, capital EB is 130, divided by capital EC, this is 90. So in this way you calculate this, you will get 2.8 cm. So from here, take 2.8 cm and mark this point B. So once you get this point B, now you can get velocity of A. Velocity of A with respect to O will be perpendicular to OA. So O point is here. Similarly, velocity of A with respect to B will be perpendicular to AB. So B is also available here. So from that, first keep scale perpendicular to AB and draw a line through B. So from B, I have drawn one line. So in this line, you will get point A. Similarly, keep scale perpendicular to OA and draw line through point O. So from point O, draw one line. So intersection of these two line will be point A. So point A is overlapping with B, almost same position both are occupying. So that means relative velocity of A and B will be zero. So next what we have to do is measure this length, measure this length OA this is the velocity of A with respect to O or absolute velocity of A which already we have determined is equal to 0 0.48 meter per second. So this length we are getting is 3.1 centimeter. You can see 1, 2, 3.1. So 3.1 centimeter is actually representing 0 0.48 meter per second. Now so 1 centimeter is equal to 0 0.15, 0 0.15. 155 meter per second. Now we have determined scale of this 
diagram now we can determine velocity of any point for example if you want to determine velocity of e velocity of e with respect to f that is absolute velocity of e what you have to do you have to measure this length which is equal to 4 cm and multiply 4 with 0 0.155 meter per second you will get absolute velocity of e similarly velocity of c with respect to e if you want so this length is 2 cm multiply 2 with this 1.155 so you will get velocity of c with respect to e in that in this way you can determine velocity of any point in this diagram now what we need is velocity of angular velocity of a b so how we can determine angular velocity of a b so v is equal to r omega that same formula we have used omega a b is equal to v a b divided by a b that is velocity of a with respect to b divided by a b so a b is 110 or 0 0.11 meter now vector a b is vector a b you can see both are at same point so relative velocity between these two or vector a b is zero therefore omega a b what we are getting is zero this is how you can determine angular velocity of this link using relative velocity method now same problem we will solve using instantaneous center method now in case of instantaneous center method first we have to mark all the links we will number all the links so we know that first link that is uh, link 1 is always fixed link so o d and f these are fixed links so these are marked as one and all other links are marked at any any sequence so i have marked this link as 2 this link as 3 this link eb as 4 this is 5 and this is 6 now what we will do we will mark all those instantaneous centers which can be determined using visual inspection so you can see this is this point is joint of link 1 and link 2 so this is i12 this is joint of link 2 and link 3 so i23 in that way i have marked all these instantaneous centers so these are fixed and permanent instantaneous centers so once we have marked this we can draw this in a circle so there are six links total six links are there so six points we will mark here so 1 2 3 4 5 6 and all those link all those centers which are already determined will be marked as line for example i12 is determined so we will draw one line from i uh, from 1 to 2 and uh, similarly 2 3 is there so from we will draw line from 2 to 3 in that way we will mark all these lines so these lines 5 4 6 is already there 4 6 this is 4 6 so 4 to 6 i have joined 5 1 5 is there 1 6 is there so all these points are there now what angular velocity ratio theorem from that we will get omega x divided by omega y is equal to i x y to i i 1 y that means distance between instantaneous center i x y to i 1 y divided by distance from i x y to i 1 x so this is the formula in this formula uh, we need to determine angular velocity of link 3 so that so in place of x we will write 3 and we have we know the angular velocity of link 2 which is given 12 radian per second so we will write in place of y 2 so this equation will become omega 3 divided by omega 2 so in place of x 3 and in place of y 2 so you can in any sequence you can write so this is i 2 3 i 1 2 i 2 3 i 1 3 so we need actually these three instantaneous centers only i 2 3 i 1 2 and i 1 3 now you can see that i 1 2 is there i 1 2 is already we have determined i 1 3 is not known i 2 3 is already there 2 3 1 2 and 2 3 are there but i 1 3 is is not there so we have to locate this i13 how can you locate 13 you have to join a line 1 2 3 now check whether this line is part of two triangles so you can see this 13 is part of 1 2 3 1 this triangle but it is not part of i13 is not this 13 line is not part of any other triangle so we need two triangles so what we will do we will draw another line i14 so if you get 14 then you can see i1 this 13 is part of two triangles 1 2 3 1 and 1 3 4 1 
In that case, you can determine 1, 3. But first you need I, 1, 4. Again, you have to, to get I, 1, 4, you have to check this 1, 4 line is part of two triangles or not. So you can see here, this I, 1, 4 is part of two triangles. That is I, uh, these triangles are 1, 4, 5, 1. This is one triangle. 1, 4, 6, 1. This is another triangle. So you can get I, 1, 4. How you will get? So write just in this way, I14 is intersection of two lines from two triangles, 1, 4. So this is 1, 6, 4, 6. So this is 1, 6, 4, 6, one triangle. And this is another triangle, 1, 5 and 4, 5. So another triangle, 1, 5, 4, 5. So 1, 4 will be obtained by drawing lines through I1, 6, 4, 6 and through line 1, 5, 4, 5. So here you can see 1, 6 and 4, 6. This is 4, 6 and this is 1, 6. So draw one line through these two points. I have drawn this line. Similarly, 1, 5 and 4, 5. So this is 4, 5 and 1, 5. Draw line. So intersecting this, intersection of these two, this point is your I, 1, 4. So this is your I, 1, 4. So once you get this I, 1, 4, now you can get I, 1, 3. So again, you can write I, 1, 3, I, 1, 3 is part of 1, 2, 2, 3. So, so this is 1, 2, 2, 3 and another one is I, 1, 4, 3, 4. So this is 1, 4, 3, 4. So I, 1, 3 will be obtained by drawing lines through these four points. So first join this, uh, join these two uh, these two points and draw one line and again another two points and draw one line. So intersection of these two lines will be your I, 1, 3. So uh, draw these lines 1, 2 and 2, 3. So this is 1, 2 and 2, 3. So I have drawn line through these two points and 1, 4 and 3, 4, 1, 4 here and 3, 4 here. So 1, 4. Now you can see that these two lines are almost parallel to each other. Uh, so these two will intersect at a distance very far from here. So very from, far from any of these points. So you can say it is about, at, uh, it is at a distance at infinity from the, any of these points. Almost parallel, so it will meet at infinity. So I 2, 3 to 1, 2. So you need this distance. I 2, 3 to 1, 2. 2, 3 to 1, 2. This is length. So this distance is 2 centimeter. Now I 2, 3 to 1, 3. This distance is almost infinity. So when you keep infinity at denominator, you will get this entire term as 0. So omega 3 will be equal to omega 2 into 0, which is almost equal to omega 3 is equal to 0. So again, using both the methods, we are getting same value, angular velocity of omega 3, that is angular velocity of AB is 0. This is not the exact answer which is given in the book. So I request you all to draw this diagram or use some method and I either use analytical method or graphical method using some softwares like AutoCAD so that exact you can use exact dimensions and check whether you are uh, getting omega 3 is equal to 0 or what given in in book so in book it is given omega 3 is equal to 1.72 radian per second which is very less but still some value is given 1.72 radian per second so i request you to check this um, this problem you solve this problem using some software with exact dimensions uh, or you can use some analytical method and check whether you are actually getting 1.72 radian per second or omega 3 is equal to 0. Thank you for watching this video.